Ivan, how, first of all, how are you feeling physically, and uh, are you going to be ready for the, the opener? Yeah, I feel good. Um, today felt a lot better, and I think, uh, you know, the last few days was more a little bit precautionary. You know, just, uh, you know, we don't start a regular season for another nine days, so... Um, Obviously, preseason is important, but you know, to go try to go out there yesterday and try to you know force it a little bit wasn't you know we didn't think it was the right call. So, uh, and I think uh, you know with this upcoming nine days of practices, uh, you know I should be able to uh, get back to 100 and be ready for game one. I think you and Tony only played together once, correct me wrong, in the, mm. in the preseason. Is that going to be a problem early in the year to get some chemistry? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, our first game didn't go as smooth as, you know, we wanted, as everybody else wanted. But uh, even if you play good, you know, the f first couple preseason games, regular season and preseason are totally different things. So even, you know, last year with, say, Ryan, you know, so still first three regular season games that we played together, we were still getting to know each other, still adjusting so i think uh what tony is going to be no different probably you know two three five games is going to take us to get used to each other obviously you know played on different teams last year different systems uh so it's going to take a little bit of time but shouldn't take too long as you've gotten to know tony on the ice mm -hmm. what are your initial impressions of him and how the two of you can kind of build some Street. Yeah, great player. You know, he skates well, sees the ice well. His, you know, his first pass is, is uh, you know, really, really, really good. And uh, I think overall, I think we can just uh, be able to close on people quicker, um, you know, have good sticks, uh, break the puck out out of the zone and come out with possession. And then hopefully that will help our team to uh, move into the offensive zone quicker with possession. Um, uh, I mean, I, I played with Ghost. I played with, you know, Niski. Uh, those guys were able to move the puck too. Um, you know, I, so I guess similar in that way. I mean, I think different. You know, he's, you know, he's the guy that is able to, you know, make plays and uh, create something out of nothing. So you know, it should be a, uh, you know, it's going to be an exciting start to the season. You're a guy that loves being on the ice for practice and even preseason games. Was it tough to kind of take it back? A yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, you know, anything, you know, it's happening around the rink, around the, you know, the team practices, meetings, all that. Like, uh, obviously, I, you know, if I'm not 10 minutes early, I feel like I'm late. So, uh, you know, be away from that. Even whatever three, four days it's been uh, has been tough, but. At the end of the day, it's going to be uh, more helpful. Just John said that uh, Cam York showed a lot of potential, but he needs a little more time, possibly down with the Phantoms for a while. What were your impressions of him and Cam? Yeah, I mean, I think I think he had a good summer. I think he grew physically. You know, he got stronger. Um, you know, sometimes it's um, you know t tough to find your game. You know, right away in preseason then. Sometimes, uh, you know, when you're a younger guy, you only get so many, you know, few games to show yourself, to establish yourself right away. I think uh, I think he'll be fine, though. I think he'll go back, he'll, you know, get into a groove, and I'm sure he'll be up uh, here very soon. Just to clarify, I know you got hit in the face uh -huh. yesterday, uh, but were you injured before that? Because you hadn't played in a couple games. And yeah, uh, that's happened yesterday in practice, and whatever happened before, it was you know, happened um, mid last week, so. Okay. Yeah. Is it upper or lower? Uh, it's lower, but nothing, That's nothing serious. serious, so. Ivan, what goals did you want to set for yourself going into the season, and, and how, what, what are your impressions of the new coaching staff, and how do they want to help you work toward those? Yeah, I mean, I think from, obviously from day one, you know, the, you know, everywhere, the message uh, was that, you know, you have to work hard. You know, you have to be, we we might be not the most skilled team, but we're definitely going to be, you know, the most conditioned and the team, the hardest team to play against. And we're all, you know, 
um, going towards that goal. Um, and I mean, overall, I think everybody wants to have a, a way better season individually and as a team than we all did last year. So, uh, yeah, so working towards that. With just like say two young guys, Zimola and Ronnie Adder's left, what have you seen from them in this camp? What do you think got them this extra? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I think Ronnie, you know, played hard, competes, you know, you saw in the game yesterday fought, you know, way bigger guy that was partially probably out of his league, but you know, that shows character and, you know, willingness to compete and, you know, fight and do whatever it takes for the team. And I think with Z, you know, his ability to be, to make plays, you know, for a big guy skates well. I think he put a little bit of weight on. So that's been, you know, I think helpful, helpful for him. And uh, yeah, both guys competed hard and, uh, you know, both guys deserve to be here. Both John and Chuck said the high priority here is to cut down on the goals allowed. He's, John just said, we're not going to play five in one games. Mm -hmm. uh, as a five-man unit, what has to be done out there better to prevent those kinds of run-around kind of games? Yeah, I think overall just uh, everyone, you know, kind of tighter and on the same page all over the ice. You know, if the D steps up and they chip it by, whether it's an, you know a forward coming back and pick up that puck, or you know uh, his partner picks it up, and then if there's another player that chips it by, and you know sometimes that happens with both D kind of stay up and force the chip. Sometimes there's got to be a forward going back, and you know it might be unusual, but that's just how the game is played now. Everyone's uh, uh, helping each other all over the ice. It's kind of a you know, five guys in the O zone, so five guys in the G zone, five guys in the neutral zone. And if you ever get separated, that's when the breakdowns happen. And, you know, the other team ends up having more chances, more space, more space and uh, more time with the puck. So we got to try to, you know, uh, support each other all over the ice, which will create, you know, more turnovers um, and uh, will help. Uh, we'll have a more the we'll have the puck more which, uh, you know, is going to help us spend less time in our own zone. Jackson, thank you. Yes, yeah, thank you.